sitting here at the uh, old Independence Courthouse, refurbished and restored with great dignity and character. The beautiful flag, Kentucky and America, flying high. I compliment the Judge Nockland and the Fiscal Court for the fine work they've done here and on the new facility on Simon Kenton Way in uh, Covington. In honor of uh, Daniel Cameron and Lieutenant Governor Mills, candidate, who came into town today over at Fort Mitchell, the Armsby Park, General Armsby Park, and brought a great crowd to announce their uh, tour across Kentucky by bus. And I am thrilled to be there and be a part of that with the judges from what we call today 1 NKY, 1 Northern Kentucky, home of the Ark and Answers in Genesis and my old Kentucky home, the Golden Triangle. Are you ready? Are you ready for Jesus? He knocks on everybody's door, but you gotta reach down, turn the knob, and invite him in to your heart. So I sing this song today in honor of Daniel Cameron and in honor of his running mate Mr. Mills, and the entire Republican team, who all are men and women of godly principles. And the song taught to me by Happy Chandler back in 1967-68, when I was president of the student government at University of Kentucky, Northern Kentucky Community College which became, in 1968, the Northern Kentucky University. Thrilled to be a part of that with some great people. So, let me sing this song for, for the beginning of the next week here, before November the 7th, when we have an election where you, the people, you, the citizens, you, the voters, can go make your choice. I recommend Daniel Cameron for governor and the Republican ticket for godly principles to restore our country to the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and as a government teacher to bring back civility, honor, and love, and integrity to all of our citizens, red, yellow, brown, black, and white. They're all precious in Jesus' sight. The most Kentucky home, as Happy Chandler taught me, to sing it from my heart, goes like this. The sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. Tis summer, the children at play. The corn tops ripe and the meadows are in bloom. And the birds make music all the day. Weep no more. My ladies, oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home far away.
Now before I sing this last verse, let me ask you a very important question again that I've asked before. Are you ready? Are you ready to be judge? Are you ready to be representative? Are you ready to be governor and lieutenant governor? Are you ready? To the citizens, are you ready? Are you ready? Have you studied the candidates? Are you listening about them? Are you learning about them? They make the decisions on what happens in our lives. So often, you citizens need to educate yourselves. You need to listen to your government teachers and to your friends and neighbors and your parents. And you need to listen to what the candidates are saying. After doing all that, my choice is Daniel Cameron for governor and the Republican team that's running with him. I think they can make a big difference. But you, the citizens, will be making the choices. Vote early. Vote often. You know, vote with your heart and your mind. God bless you all. The last verse goes like this. Oh, the children rule on the little cabin floor. All merry, all are happy and bright. By and by, hard times comes a knocking at the door. Then my old Kentucky home says good night weep no more my ladies oh weep no more today we will sing one song for my old kentucky home for my old kentucky home far away for my old Kentucky home far away God bless America and God bless Kentucky So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free yeah, yeah, we were out the Let's 
just run Andy Bashir out of the state house. Yeah. Look, this is a race about our future. This is a race about our kids and our grandkids. You know, Mackenzie and I have a 21 month old at home. His name's Theodore. And we, we want to make sure that whether it's Theodore or your kids or your grandkids, that we're all in the best position to have a brighter and better future for them. One that makes sure that this Commonwealth preserves ideals And that's because in eight days we are going to elect Daniel Perry as the entire Republican Party. I want to make uh, two quick announcements here. Uh, first of all, um, once the program concludes and General Cameron has wrapped up his remarks, uh, we already do a, a quick photo line. Uh, we do have four more stops today across the state, so it's going to have to be quick and get your picture and ask you a question, whatever you want to do, uh, but just FYI, we will have to stay on schedule. Uh, don't be right behind me where I'm standing, or form a line, get everybody uh, taking pictures, and uh, thank you all again for coming out. Uh, it is now my distinct honor to introduce uh, a friend of mine, uh, a friend to uh, Republicans and conservatives all across the state. Uh, in my opinion, uh, one of the best state seekers in the entire country of Senator Chris McKinney. If there's anything that says uh, there's momentum going into the election, it's 24 degrees. The blistering rain this morning and a great crowd like this today. So thank you all for being here. And, you know, but it, it speaks to the difference in these races, the qualifications that individuals bring, and you know the, the, the lack of, of qualified individuals to go with Andy this year, who we're looking forward to retiring next week. <laughs> but next up, I get to introduce probably the most stark contrast in all of these races. Because unbelievably, the Democrats have put up for a attorney general, a person who not even licensed to practice law in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I simply need to imagine. But think about 
Think about the spectrum of candidates you could have, and let's think about our candidate for a second, the former FBI agent, a former United States attorney, someone who in every single term has taken the right path for America and the right path for the conservative cause, and that's why today I'm honored to welcome our, my friend and our next attorney general, Russell Coleman. <laughs> Well, we happen to be here a little early this morning. They're getting set up here, the Republican Party of Kentucky, uh, for Shell running for Commissioner of Agriculture, and Adams running for Secretary of State. And, of course, we're waiting for, with great anticipation here, uh, Attorney General Daniel Cameron coming in here as our next governor from Kentucky. Right, Mike? That's correct, John. We're getting out and working hard. And all these young people doing a beautiful job. There goes one of them right there. <laughs> <laughs> you are too. It's a nice cool day. Now know? what's your name? Bill. Bill Bricking. Bill, God bless you and thank you for your hard work, Mike. <laughs> thank you for your hard work. You're always working. John. Now we'll head around back here and watch these young people putting together. The event will be back here in the back section. I, I believe so. We're, we're not going to get a heat stroke today. No heat stroke. Now where'd my wife, Miss June, go? She's in the van. There's one of those young ladies working really hard. Now, what's your name? Courtney. Courtney, what's your last name? Doris. And you're working real hard here today? Yes, well, working real hard here today. Praise the Lord. There's another hard worker right there. Now, what's her name? That's Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, how you doing? Good, Don. I want to get out here because these young people are always hard working and putting things together and organizing. And that's a great t thing to have happen. If tell June if you farm me if you would that she could sign in for us. Now folks, you're gonna see something here. I've been doing these campaigns since nineteen seventy five all across Kentucky and uh, you see something here what makes a campaign work is when you got young people like this that come out. Of course, I'm 80. I think I'm young. <laughs> but they're putting up some signs and getting things organized. And they'll be speaking back here on the back deck here at this beautiful park with the flag flying high. And uh, now what's your all's names? Young man, what's your name? I'm Blake. Blake? What's Blake who? Blake Christopher. Blake Christopher and... Hi, I'm Henry, sir. Henry, Henry Duffy. And, young ladies, you mind if I get your names? Shane Silver. What's your names, young ladies? What's What's their names? Do we know them? What's your name there, young sir? I'm Gus. Gus? It's John Stevens. Stevens. John? And, and this I other young I saw you. I saw you at the uh, Rand Paul thing last right. week. Right. Yes, yes. Good to see you. But we got everybody on there helping out. Did we get you ladies over there? You got me already. Oh, got you already? Okay. <laughs> well, when you get 80, you've got a short memory. <laughs> and the beautiful signs, the big signs that they've got here. And uh, 
If you got an extra one today, I'd like to take it home with me because I got a place to put it right there at Independence by the courthouse. Got a train coming, being an old railroader, I can sort of tell when the trains are going by. It's a nice park here, General Armsby Park, here in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. Judge Nockerman there, Chris Nockerman, Kenton County Judge, Executive, Great County Executive Judge, for number one, NKY. Home of the Ark, and Answers in Genesis of the Golden Triangle, by Old Kentucky Home. little nippy out there. <laughs>
Nine News is here. Hello. Good, pretty good for an old country boy. Yeah. <laughs> John I, Stevenson. I, I've seen you beat my hands before. I've seen you before. Nice to he see you. He seems here. Oh, old yeah. Kentucky home. Yeah. I'm Gary. I met you before. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you all. Seen you right to life, I think. Yes. Yep. There's my wife. How you doing? She's the smartest move too? I ever made. <laughs> no, I, I make a joyful noise. <laughs> An operative word is noise. <laughs> You're an accompaniment. accompaniment. Yes. <laughs> We are not John and June Carter Cash. <laughs> Same names, but that's about it. Well, it's a bus on the way? I think it's on its way and pretty close, they said, so. Oh, uh, huh? He's not here yet. Well, he left, but he went over to his car or someplace. You want to sit down and just kind of... Well, I guess they'll be signing up here, so I'll just sit right here. Yeah. Here comes another old codger like me up here. Stay and grab your spot. That would be very Prayer breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be coming to the prayer breakfast. When is it? Thursday. Thursday. She's going to help me get up. No, they're not having it this Thursday. Oh, they're not oh, having God. it this Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because of early voting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you told me because I was going to try to come. Hey, yeah. Excuse me a second. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> she we're ready, folks. You guys want to she has to get me up. Absolutely. There's a good man right there. How you doing? Good. How are you today? 
to see you. That's good booters. We we come out in all kinds of weather. I uh, judge. <laughs> Us good boaters, we come out in all kinds of weather. The picture made me smile when I saw it though. Well, that, that, that was real time. Hi there. Great variety of people from all walks of life. Teachers for Daniel Cameron, women for Daniel Cameron, men for Daniel Cameron, and even I'm for Daniel Cameron. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Pass the emanation of godly principles. Red, yellow, brown, black, and white. Precious in Jesus' sight. Channel 9, Channel 5 is here. <laughs> Judge Pendry is here from Campbell County. Judge Nockelman from Kenton County. John Middleton there.
Oh, share. Oh, share. Hi, Will. Hey, how are you doing? Here comes the bus. Fight for Kentucky, Daniel Cameron, Governor. Travels with Dr. John Stevenson. 859-750-0000. Join us on YouTube and Facebook under Travels with Dr. John Stevenson. And John Stevenson and June Guyman Stevenson. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, John, John, how you doing? Praise the Lord. Wow, she What station are they from? Huh? What station are they from? Yeah, I don't know. They show up every now and again. Are you still in Booth County? I am. Hey, Mitt. I know you have the same person. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. No, I don't think so. Is he in there already? Is he out there? Hello folks. Representative, how you doing? doing good, good God day. bless you.
Someone who has literally worn the uniform of this country, uh, fighting for our nation. And when you see him every day, when he's on that podium, he's down in Frankfurt. He is fighting for his district in order to fight for this gentleman. Phenomenal state senator. We tend, to, we tend to complicate things as lawyers. This sounds like I'm teeing up a lawyer joke, but we tend to complicate things. We call this a campaign, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a job interview. It's a job interview. And how do you assess someone who's in front of you in your business? You assess them based upon the resume. What have they done in the past? Not, not their words sitting in front of you, but how have they performed in the past? So when you talk about fighting for the company, you look at the next governor of this Commonwealth, the Attorney General Daniel Cameron. You look at how he's fought for this Commonwealth. You look at how he's pushed back on the Biden administration. You all the way up to the Supreme Court of the United States. You look at his record in pushing back on the Bashir administration, how he has fought for the rule of law. He has fought for those who wear the uniform of our Commonwealth, of this county, our law enforcement officers. We know how he'll serve our next governor. He has fought for us, and the Fraternal Order of Police has endorsed him because of that. Hey, come along beside this fighter. And so I could not be more honored to potentially serve as your next Attorney General with our next governor as we're defending our families from the poison we see pouring in over a fourth southwest border from the violence we see not only in Louisville, not only in Lexington, but in every county in our commonwealth. We lost almost 150 million Kentuckians in Boone, Kitten, and Campbell to drive to Lake Smith. Last year was. This is someone who's going to defend our families. Ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't be more excited to serve with him. And I also could not be more honored to introduce our next speaker, someone that I've had the opportunity to get to know even better throughout this process. Uh, someone who has been an extraordinary public servant, really a superstar, and will be an extraordinary auditor in defending our fiscal, our fist, in def defending the money that you pay to allow state government to function. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next state auditor, Allison Ball. <laughs> Hey, John, move them over so I can get my cart up through there. Yeah. I'll go on up, sit down, film it. Excuse me, Judge. 
Let me get up here so I can sit down and film it. Excuse me, sir. Russell. Let me get up here so I can film you all. Uh, with that judge, we are ready for you. Well, good morning. Well, let's tell everybody what Kenton County is all about. Make sure that Daniel Cameron's our next governor. Amen. Well, we can make a few comments, Allison, uh, Russell, great, great future leaders and present leaders in Frankfurt. But I tell you what, I couldn't be more proud this morning and honored to actually make a few comments about Daniel and, quite frankly, the entire team. I've got to know uh, Daniel over the past number of years, and uh, you know one of the things you see is Daniel has the integrity, the intellect, and the energy to serve this Commonwealth. Hopefully, for the next two terms as governor of Kentucky, right? you know can, uh, Daniel embodies everything what's right about Kentucky, um, doing the right thing at the right time, putting in, putting the community first, and I think that that's what we need in Frankfurt. That's what we need in the governor's mansion. His leadership. And, and making sure, as, as we know, is needed more than uh, I want to make sure we don't forget the fact that, you know, this guy, he's a great husband, he's a great father, he's a great friend, and he's somebody who actually, whether you're in business or you're in private, in the social sector, in any area of the area, you're going to be supported by Daniel. And in fact, I believe Daniel has every chance to be the Ronald Reagan of our time. And, I, and maybe who knows where he goes from here. So if you're frustrated with what's going on in the U.S., and open borders in our country, high taxes, high interest rates, and unfortunately inflation going through the roof. We know that we've got to show up on next Tuesday. We've got to make sure we support Daniel. And I could not be any more proud, more honored to, to, to rally you this afternoon and say, let's hear it for our future governor, Daniel Cameron. Yeah. kids, that we're all in the best position to have a brighter and better future for them. 
one that makes sure that this commonwealth preserves ideals that have propelled this nation forward since its very inception. Those ideals being faith, family, and community. That, that, that is the opportunity that is before us on November 7th. And let me just tell you, if you are a teacher that is here today, Amen. know that the Republican Party, under my leadership and with the help of Robbie Mills, the next lieutenant governor, we are going to stand up and value and support our hardworking teachers. Amen. You know, Andy Bashir shut down our schools for two years. And our kids have pretty significant learning loss because of it. But we don't have to accept that status quo any longer. We can make sure that we have good quality schools that are about reading, writing, and math, and they are incubators for liberal and progressive ideas. Amen. We can build that future together that makes sure that our kids are the best and brightest version of themselves, that makes sure that this commonwealth is a shining city on a hill a model and an example for the rest of the nation to follow. That is what is at stake on November 7th. So I know all of you all are here today and are fired up and are ready for new leadership. Yeah. But, what, but, but what I want to encourage you to do is over the course of these next eight days, let's not give up. Let's not rest on our laurels. Let's make sure that we continue to knock doors. Let's walk neighborhoods. Let's make phone calls because on November 7th, we get to tell the rest of the nation that we want new leadership, that we don't want far left ideology here in Kentucky. Amen. God bless you and God bless Kentucky. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Good job, good job, good job. Good job, nice to see you all. Kim, hope you're doing okay. Nice to see you.